Aptera is a forward-thinking company that wants to change the electric vehicle EV industry. It is slowly making progress toward releasing its highly anticipated solar-powered car in early 2025. The newest version called PI2 is a big step forward in Aptera's quest to make the world's most fuel-efficient electric vehicle. As interest in the PI2 grows, the Aptera community's attention is shifting to the PI4, which will be the next big step forward. Many improvements have been made to PI2 in terms of safety and structure, but PI4 is supposed to be the most liked Aptera's final production vehicle. In recent months, both enthusiasts and industry professionals have been captivated by glimpses of the highly anticipated PI2, shared by top company executives across social media platforms. As the official unveiling approaches, two key questions arise. What groundbreaking features will the PI2 offer, and how will it propel Aptera towards its ambitious vision of sustainable transportation? Let's delve into the details. For the amazing work that goes in here. Kindly return the favor by giving this video a like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. One of the most important reports about the PI2 came from Aptera's well-known designer, Jason Hill. Hill has used his social media to tease short, interesting clips of the PI2's design, giving people their first look at the innovative ways the car is built. Even though the images aren't very clear, they've caused a lot of talk about the car's features, especially its use of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber has been a key part of Aptera's designs, since it is strong and lightweight. This has improved both aerodynamics and energy economy. Key parts of the PI2 prototype are made of carbon fiber, but this time Aptera has taken things even further by adding metal parts. Putting metal reinforcements in places like the doors and roll cage shows that safety is now more important than speed. In older prototypes like the PI1, energy performance was best achieved by using materials that were very light. Now Aptera seems to be trying to find a better mix between keeping the lightweight benefits of carbon fiber and making the structure stronger to meet real-world safety standards. The addition of metal parts to PI2 is a major improvement in Aptera's way of designing vehicles. Even though carbon fiber is still a big part of the outside of the card, these new metal parts show that PI2 isn't just an improvement in style or idea, it's also a big step forward in safety and sturdiness. For example, metal points have been carefully added to the structure of the car to strengthen places that are likely to get a lot of stress, like the doors and rear hatch. These changes are necessary to protect people inside the car in case of an accident, and they also fit with Aptera's larger goal of making a car that can handle the demands of everyday driving. This mixing of materials shows that Aptera is going past the prototype stage and getting closer to making a vehicle that can be sold. The metal reinforcements, especially in areas that are very important for safety, show that the company is meeting the strict safety standards needed for mass production while still staying committed to efficiency. From what we've seen of PI2, it looks like it will have more than just better structure. Small details like the way a gas strut looks like it's connected to a door or rear hatch show that Aptera is improving even the most useful parts of the car. For example, a gas hinge makes it easier to open and close these parts, which makes the whole experience better for the user. The addition of this small feature may not seem important, but it shows that Aptera is serious about making sure that the car is useful and easy to use. Also, new footages show that the PI2's back part, which has the charging port and license plate, is getting close to being ready for production. Together, these features, along with the stronger doors and better body structure, make it clear that Aptera is almost done fine-tuning its prototype. This level of care for detail makes it clear that PI2 is no longer just a prototype, but a nearly finished car that is ready to be driven in the real world. How to deal with aerodynamic problems The mysterious gap One of the most strange things about the latest updates to the PI2 is that the body of the car now has a gap or opening that wasn't there before. Fans have a lot of ideas about what this feature does, with many thinking it has something to do with aerodynamics. Aptera is always trying to reduce drag to save energy, so it's possible that this gap is very important for controlling airflow or keeping the vehicle cool, both of which are necessary to keep it running well. The exact purpose of this gap is still unknown, but the fact that it exists shows how methodically Aptera designs vehicles. This design change was probably made after the company used wind tunnel tests and advanced computational fluid dynamics CFD, models. More tests will be done to see if it stays in the final production model. No matter what, this feature shows how dedicated Aptera is to pushing the limits of electric car technology while keeping efficiency at the top of their list of priorities. As interest in the PI2 grows, the Aptera community's attention is shifting to the PI4, which will be the next big step forward. Many improvements have been made to PI2 in terms of safety and structure. 
But PI-4 is supposed to be the most like Aptera's final production vehicle. The company's development schedule says that PI-4 will have fully realized external surfaces and look exactly like the launch version. This will give the best look at the final product. Most likely, PI-4 will fix any problems that were found during the testing and prototyping steps of PI-2. Each version is an important learning step that helps Aptera improve its design, make it work better, and solve problems that came up out of the blue. When PI-4 is shown off, it should be almost finished. This is the solar-powered car that thousands of people who pre-ordered it have been eagerly anticipating. Aside from the main car, Aptera has been working quietly on a variety of add-ons that will make its users' lives better. The pet kit and the camping kit stand out as two of the best options. They have both sparked a lot of interest in the community. For example, the pet kit comes with a foldable ramp that makes it easy for cats to get in and out of the car. This thoughtful addition shows that Aptera cares about making their products useful and easy for people to use, so the vehicle fits in perfectly with everyday life. The camping kit, on the other hand, has caused even more talk. It's made to look like a tent and attaches to the Aptera, turning it into a small campsite for people who like being outside. Some people are worried about how waterproof the kit is, though, because early renders show a mesh covering that water could get through when it rains. This could be a bug, but it's important to remember that the current design is probably just a first draft. Because Aptera works in stages, these issues should be fixed before the final release. Even though KI2 is a big step forward for Aptera, the company still has to deal with some problems as it gets closer to mass production. It's still not clear when PI2 will be fully revealed, and while it's possible that PI4 will be ready by the end of the year, this may be too optimistic. Aptera may have to wait while it finalizes the design of the vehicle and solves the remaining technical problems. This is common for auto companies working with cutting-edge technology. However, Aptera has shown a remarkable ability to build on and improve its prototypes, fixing problems both known and unknown as they come up. Aptera is getting closer to its goal of making a fully functional mass-produced solar-powered vehicle. This is clear as the company continues to improve PI2 and gets ready to show off PI4. Aptera's move from PI2 to PI4 is a key moment in its quest to make the world's most fuel-efficient electric car. The company gets closer to its goal of a solar-powered, environmentally-friendly future with each prototype. Even though there are still problems, the progress that has been made so far is undeniably impressive. People are getting more and more excited as Aptera gets ready to show off its next-generation prototype. Whether it's the introduction of metallic reinforcements or the development of lifestyle-enhancing accessories, Aptera is proving that it is not just building a vehicle, but an ecosystem designed to meet the diverse needs of modern drivers. And there you have it for now. It's been fantastic having you with us this far. If you've enjoyed the incredible work that goes into these videos, please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification icon to stay up to speed. Your engagement means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.